Okay, part two, here we are with, I made some changes. Now I have a web application that lists all the possible users in my system. And I can pick the Biscuit King, for example, and hit submit, nothing happens yet. But what I want to do is hit submit, and I want to see the five most similar users to the Biscuit King. This is leading us towards this idea of K nearest neighbor, with K being five. So K being three, show me the three nearest. K being 10, show me the 10 nearest. So again, I'm not fully implementing the whole K nearest neighbor algorithm for a machine learning problem yet, but I'm just kind of looking at the pieces of it along the way of kind of doing some stuff. So, okay, so let's do this. Are you excited? Because <laughs> the last video, if you watched the previous one, was so boring, I thought. But maybe you watched it, maybe you enjoyed it. This one's gonna be uh, probably pretty boring. But I have lots of energy now, because here we go. Okay, so, uh, so all I did, by the way, is I changed it to just having one drop-down menu. And here's another thing, this was kind of, Terrible. And this, by the way, I should call this Euclidean distance. And I don't like what I did with this at all. What I should do is pass in two people, right? Because really what I should be saying is this general function, this should be a general function that can look at the Euclidean distance, whoops, between two people. And I'm going to, uh, and boy, I really don't like the way, <laughs> oh, I did so many terrible things in the last example that I don't like, but that's fine. I want this function, you know, it was silly that I put this in the HTML right here. What I really want is the, for this function to return that similarity score. So I wanna have a generic function that receives two names and returns that similarity score. So now what I have is when I press the mouse and I say uh, find, nearest neighbors. When I press the mouse, I want to find the nearest neighbors. So that's my function, find nearest neighbors. And to whom, who are the nearest neighbors? Name is dropdown dot value. So I want to find the nearest neighbors to name. Okay, so whew, what am I, what, what, by, by goodness, what am I going to do here? So. In order to find the five nearest neighbors, what I actually unfortunately need to do is calculate the similarity score for everybody and then sort that list by the most similar and take the top five. Okay, so how are we gonna do that? Well, luckily for us, we happen to have this nice array of in data.users. That's the array of everything. So what I can do is I can say, let's go loop through. Uh, data.users index, uh, oh, data.users.length. And what I want to say is, I, I want to look at somebody else, other equals data.users index i. And as long as other is not equal to name, like I don't want to check my similarity rating against myself, as long as other is not equal to name, I want to get my similarity score. Uh, between Euclidean distance, we calculated this in the previous video, if you didn't watch that, link in the description below, et cetera, et cetera, uh, uh, between uh, myself, name, and other. So I want to look at all those similarity scores. Now, where am I going to put those similarity scores? Hmm. Well, there's a variety of places I could put them, but why not just add it to that object? So data, index users, index i, uh, no, I don't like this. So I think what I'm gonna do is create a temporary list. So what I wanna do is create a list called uh, similarity, sim similarity scores is an array. And what I'm going to do is I am going to, for every single user, this will be interesting, ah, yeah, why not? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, Similarity scores, index i equals, um, e equals that similarity. So I'm gonna make a little table uh, called, uh, and let's, so let's look at all the similarity scores. Let's see if this works. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna run this and let's look at, okay, users is not defined sketch.js line 45. Okay, so what do I want to do? I don't have access to this users uh, variable here. I'm just going to uh, make it a global variable, which is not the best solution, but it will do for right now um, so that I can have access to it there. Let's hit refresh and cannot read the property. 
four of undefined at sketch.js60. So I have another bug here in line 60. Hmm. Oh, dot name. This needs to be dot name. So this needs to be dot name. I want to look at the other's name, not the full object. And so now, uh, where I'm seeing everything here, so I can take out some of these con this console.log. So now let's do this. Come on. <laughs> so there we go. That's my feeble attempt to make this more interesting. We can see this is an array of all of the similarity scores. Now notice there's no index zero in this array because Alka happens to be user zero, and I am not. So what I should do here is I should do something like, I'm just going to do similarity scores equals negative one. So by definition, if uh, index i. So if it is yourself, I'm going to put the similarity score as negative one. So I'm going to, that will, when I do the sorting later, it's going to ignore. So what I have here is an array of all of these values. And I can easily sort that array. Because then I have these values, I have this array of all the scores sorted. But that's not what I want. I want all of the names somehow sorted. But I have a separate array. Guess what? JavaScript array sorting to the rescue. So you then maybe you woke up this morning and thought, I hope I watch a video on YouTube about how to make a movie recommendation system. And then you watch the video and realize, I could bonus, I learned about sorting JavaScript arrays. So we're going to do this. So let me show you a little bit about this. Let's say I have an array. And it knows what I want to type. Uh, it has some numbers in it. 52, 1, uh, negative 7, 99, 5, 13. So I can actually say array.sort. And what do I get? I get the array in sorted numerical order. Now what is the actual array? It actually changes that array. So it doesn't create a new array in sorted order. It actually changes this array and it's in sorted order. And hopefully you can see that. Now here's the thing. If I have an array and it's like some letters, C, B, A, Z, E, G, right? And now I have this array of all these letters. I can also say array.sort. And now I have it sorted in alphabetical order. JavaScript arrays can be sorted with the sort function if JavaScript happens to know how to sort them. Because what if I were to just put some generic objects or some other kind of data that doesn't have an obvious way of how to sort? How would it sort it? Well, JavaScript to the rescue, this sort function can actually take a callback. I can put a function inside of there, and the sole purpose of that function is to tell JavaScript how to compare two particular elements. So how am I going to do this? And I realize there's a flaw in the way that I wrote this. But we're going to, everything's going to be fine. I know what to do. Trust me, I know what to do. It's going to be OK. OK, so what is it that I want to sort? I actually want to sort data.users. I want to see that array, the array of all the users in sorted order where the most similar users are at the top of that array. So what I want to do is say, uh, at the end of this where I calculate all the similarity scores, I want to say data.sort, sorry, data.users.sort, and I want to say compare similarity. Boy, I'm having the longest. So in other words, I want to write a function that compares the similarity scores uh, between two. Now, what this callback by definition takes two elements that are in that array, A and B. So one thing I could do is just say, let's just look at this. Console.log A.name, B.name. Now, this is not going to do anything, but let's just run it because it's just going to log stuff. OK, let's run this. Submit. So, oops, I'm, I'm console logging too many things. I don't want to see this anymore. Let's do this again. Submit. So look at this. So it's definitely comparing 
Dak versus Leon, Ewoks versus Leon, Daniel versus Leon, Blank versus Leon, Chewbacca. So this is a list of every user being compared to every other user in order to sort that array. However, I don't want to sort it by their names, right? If I wanted it to be in alphabetical order, I could do that very easily by by comparing their names. I want to sort by the similarity scores. Oh, but how do I look up their similarity score by their name? Now, I have no real easy way to do that, unfortunately. Luckily for us, I could not put these similarity scores in an array, but I could put them in an object where what I actually do is store it by their name. And in other words, I could just, at this point now, yeah, I could keep that as negative one. So, um, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to store all of the scores in a lookup table that is organized by their name. So now what I want to do is I'm going to, I can say score one equals similarity scores for A and score two equals similarity scores for B. So now, let's console.log score one and score two. Let's see what those look like. Undefined, undefined, undefined. Okay, what did I, ah, a dot name, b dot name, right? I want to look it up by their name because the array that I'm sorting is the array of the full object. So I want to look it up by their name. So let's try that. And look at this. So we can plainly see we're comparing all these similarity scores. And now it's our job to say to JavaScript, to the sort function, this is how these numbers should relate to each other. I, if, one has, if score one is higher than score two, then, then user one should be before user two in the array. And the way that we do that is by saying, I can never remember this, so I always just do this through trial and error. But basically, it's up to me to return a positive one if I want A before B, a negative one if I want B before A, or a zero if they're equal. Well, I don't actually have to do a positive one or a negative one. What I can actually just return is I can return score one minus score two. So I am giving a, a comparison score to these two similarity ratings to JavaScript so that it can sort those objects. Okay, so it's sorting the objects in data.users by their score in the similarity scores lookup table. Okay, let's now say console.log data.users. Let's take a look at this. Okay, here we go. Submit. So here's our array. Hold on a sec. I want to look at it. Boy, this is, why? Okay, I'm going to look at it. Now let's look. We should see a high similarity score for, ooh, uh, hmm, no, I think I did it wrong. Oh, I don't see the similarity scores here. I should put the similar. So clearly I, this thing is sorted in the wrong order because Alka is the first thing in the array and Alka has a similarity score of negative one. I just realized I can't even see the similarity score. So one thing I could do, which you might do as an exercise, I could add as a property the actual similarity score here. But I'm going to do this in a little bit of a different way. Um, so first of all, let me just say score two minus score one. Let me invert that and run this again. And hopefully what we're going to see in the first spot in the array is Praetorarian. So this is the user that's most similar to Alka, but we can't really see this for sure. So how can I see this for sure? So what I actually want to do is I just want to display the top five. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say four var i equals zero, i is less than data, well, i is less than five. I want to look at the five. So this is, I'm going to say var k equals five. I want to look at the k, the five nearest neighbors, and I'm going to say create div uh, data.users index i dot name plus colon space plus similarity scores. So first of all, I want to look, I just want to get their name. So let's put that in a separate variable. Name plus similarity scores by name. So let's see if, let's see those come up. Here we go. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
make all of these divs, I'm going to put them in that, uh, put that in that result parent that I was using from the previous, result paragraph that I was using from the previous uh, example. Okay, so here we go. Let's look at the top five most similar users, oh boy, isn't this exciting, to Alka. Praetorian with a similarity score of 0.36. Leo with a similarity score of, I don't have other sounds, 0.333. Uh, Jeremy with a similarity score of 0.33. Barack with a similarity score. And Randy with a score. Randy there in the fifth spot with a score of 0.28. All right. So we could try this with any other user like Chewbacca. And we could see, oh, look at this. Um, so I'm not clearing it. So let's, um, I think what I could do is, uh, I might as well fix this while I'm here, is right when I'm about to find the nearest neighbors, I should just take, this is a silly way to do this, but I'm going to, is this going to actually work? Will this delete everything that's in result P just by giving it blank HTML? This might be a terrible idea. No, uh, because those divs are still in there. So what I want to do is, um, um, result divs is an array. This is a very silly thing that I'm doing, but I'm going to uh, just put all those divs in an array so that at the beginning, uh, what I can do is, and I'm sure I could dynamically access all of those by doing a, a select or something, um, but I'm just going to say uh, result divs index i dot remove and then result divs is a new empty array. So that should, yeah. And interestingly enough, the sorting order, because these are all three are equal, I'm actually getting a different order each time, which is kind of interesting uh, to realize. Uh, and now we can see we're getting similarity scores for any person. Uh, Kenneth, similar to this dot, Frost, Tryon, Stefan, and Keon. Okay, we've done it. Now we have the K nearest similar people to a given raider. Now, here's the thing. This is what I'm gonna do in the next video before I leave here today. I'm gonna make one more video. What if a new person comes onto the scene and rates a few movies but hasn't seen one of the movies? How could I guess a new rating for the new user based on their similarity to their K nearest neighbors? And this is a regression problem. I want to predict a star rating. Like you could say it's classification because I could classify the stars into 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. But I might do like a 3.4. I might sort of calculate a numeric continuous score. But so that's what I'm going to do in the next video. I am going to predict a star rating of a new user who hasn't seen all of the Star Wars films. <laughs> Are you going to be here to watch that video? I would say I hope so, but I fully understand if not. So I will see you maybe in the next video. Thanks for watching.